Taiwan, a small island nation off the coast of mainland China, has long lived in the shadow of a giant. For decades, the threat of invasion from Beijing has loomed large. The Chinese Communist Party claims Taiwan as its own, a breakaway province that must be reunited with the mainland by force if necessary. Taiwan, a vibrant democracy with a thriving economy, has vowed to defend its independence. It faces an increasingly assertive China, led by President Xi Jinping. Xi has made it clear that unification is a top priority, raising fears of a potential conflict that could engulf the entire region. In this precarious geopolitical landscape, Taiwan has been forced to become a fortress island. It is constantly seeking ways to bolster its defenses and deter Chinese aggression. The latest move in this high-stakes chess game is a significant one. Taiwan is turning to the power of drones. The 21st century has witnessed a revolution in warfare, with drones taking center stage. Unmanned aerial vehicles have proven their worth in conflicts around the world. They provide a cost-effective and highly effective means of surveillance, reconnaissance and even attack. Taiwan, acutely aware of the changing nature of warfare, has recognized the potential of drones to transform its defense capabilities. The island nation has been gradually building up its drone program. It is now taking a major step forward with a significant purchase of attack drones from the United States. This move signals a shift in Taiwan's defense strategy. It is a clear message to Beijing that Taipei is determined to defend itself with the most advanced technology available. The drone deal has sent ripples through the region, raising questions about its implications for Taiwan's security and China's response. Taiwan's recent drone purchase is not just a symbolic gesture, it's a substantial investment in its defense capabilities. The deal involves the acquisition of 1,000 attack drones from two leading US defense contractors, Aerovironment Inc., renowned for its switchblade drones, and Anduril Industries Inc., known for its advanced autonomous systems. The switchblade drones, small enough to be carried in a backpack, are essentially kamikaze weapons. They can loiter over a battlefield sending back real-time video feeds and then crash into a target with explosive force. Anduril's drones, larger and more sophisticated, offer advanced surveillance and targeting capabilities. This deal marks a significant deepening of military ties between the United States and Taiwan. While Washington officially recognizes Beijing under its One China policy, it is also bound by law to provide Taiwan with the means to defend itself. The drone sale has infuriated Beijing, which views it as a provocative act that undermines its claim over Taiwan. The acquisition of these advanced attack drones represents a significant boost to Taiwan's defense capabilities. Drones offer several advantages in the context of Taiwan's strategic situation. Their relatively low cost, compared to traditional fighter jets, makes them an attractive option for a country facing a numerically superior enemy. Furthermore, drones can be deployed quickly and operate autonomously, reducing the risk to human pilots. In the event of a conflict, these drones could be used to target Chinese landing craft, ships and other military assets, potentially slowing down or even repelling an invasion. The drone deal is part of a broader shift in Taiwan's defense strategy, moving away from reliance on traditional platforms like tanks and fighter jets towards a more agile and asymmetric approach. This strategy emphasizes mobility, flexibility, and the ability to inflict maximum damage on an invading force using unconventional means. Unsurprisingly, China has reacted with fury to Taiwan's drone purchase. Beijing views any military buildup by Taiwan as a direct threat to its goal of reunification. 
The Chinese government has accused the United States of playing with fire and warned of serious consequences. China has condemned the drone deal as a violation of its One China principle and threatened to take all necessary measures to protect its sovereignty. This could include a range of responses, from diplomatic protests and economic sanctions to increased military activities in the Taiwan Strait. Some analysts believe that China might respond to the drone deal by intensifying its military pressure on Taiwan. This could involve more frequent incursions by Chinese warplanes into Taiwan's air defense identification zone, cyber attacks, or even a naval blockade. Hash hash section six, beyond the horizon, the future of Taiwan's defense. The purchase of attack drones is just one piece of Taiwan's larger strategy to deter Chinese aggression. The island nation is also investing heavily in other areas, such as cybersecurity, mobile missile systems, and training its reserve forces. Taiwan is also seeking to strengthen its international partnerships, particularly with like-minded democracies like the United States, Japan, and Australia. The goal is to build a network of support that can help deter China from taking any military action. The situation in the Taiwan Strait remains tense and unpredictable. Taiwan's drone deal is a clear signal that the island nation is determined to defend its freedom and way of life. The coming years will be crucial in determining whether peace and stability can be maintained in this vital region. Section 7. A Call for Global Solidarity The international community has a vital role to play in preventing a conflict in the Taiwan Strait. It is essential for countries around the world to make it clear to Beijing that any attempt to take Taiwan by force will be met with serious consequences. This includes providing Taiwan with the political and military support it needs to deter aggression. It also means strengthening economic and diplomatic ties with Taiwan, sending a signal to Beijing that its attempts to isolate the island nation will not succeed. The stakes are high, not just for Taiwan, but for the entire region and the world. A conflict in the Taiwan Strait would have devastating consequences, disrupting global trade, undermining international order, and potentially escalating into a wider conflict. Ha! Section 8. The stakes could not be higher. The future of Taiwan hangs in the balance. The island nation faces an existential threat from China, a powerful adversary determined to achieve unification, by force if necessary. Taiwan's purchase of attack drones is a bold move, a clear signal that it will not go down without a fight. The international community must stand with Taiwan in its hour of need. Failure to do so would have dire consequences, not just for the Taiwanese people, but for the principles of freedom and democracy that underpin the international order. It is time for the world to wake up to the threat posed by China's growing assertiveness. Appeasement will not work. Only by standing firm in defense of democracy and freedom can we hope to deter aggression and preserve peace in the Taiwan Strait and beyond. Section 9. What do you think? Taiwan's drone deal is a significant development with far-reaching implications. It raises important questions about the future of the Taiwan Strait, the balance of power in the region, and the role of the international community. What do you think about Taiwan's decision to purchase attack drones? How do you see this impacting the relationship between Taiwan and China? What role should the United States and other countries play in this situation? Share your thoughts and join the conversation. The future of Taiwan, and perhaps the world, may